Hey guys, we're Molly and Toby, aka Moby Adventures. Mol, what are we up to? We are talking to you today about the best things that you can get up to in Antigua. We've got a top seven list of things to try, and it's basically everything except beaches. Everyone knows Antigua, famous for beaches, and we'll do a separate video on all of those, and we will post it right here when it's live. So, number seven the market in St. John's, the farmer's market that happens every Saturday morning. You can drive into town or get a bus in. You go early if you want to get some local produce and we did a separate video that we'll link to for some amazing fruit that we tried. Number six is to visit the Donkey Sanctuary. Now we actually spent two weeks volunteering here, but we would really recommend a visit. You are, unlike in the UK, you're allowed to go in, um, interact with the donkeys. They really like the attention. They love getting brushed but it's a really, really worthwhile charity. Number five is the National Museum of Antigua and Barbuda. It's in the oldest building in town. It's in the old courthouse, and it's just kind of one room um, at the bottom, but it's, it takes you on the story of Antigua from first um, settlers here up to present day. So number four on our list is Betty's Hope. If you've ever been to Antigua, you've probably noticed these kind of cylindrical structures around the island, and these are sugar mills. So there's over 120 sugar mills on Antigua. Still standing. And they represent old sugarcane estates. And the two at Betty's Hope have been restored and there's a little museum there so it teaches you about the history and the work that went on. Really, really interesting to go and see. So now onto our top three. We are absolutely history buffs so it's no surprise that two of these are to do with going around old ruins. There are a handful of forts dotted around the island, not as many as the sugar mills, there are about uh, half a dozen I think, and we've visited a couple already. They're in various states of uh, disrepair, let's put it that way, you can quite literally just drive up to them and have a walk around, but they're really fascinating to see. The, what, the Fort James has some old cannons still there, Fort Barrington has amazing views over... St John's, Deep Bay. Number two on our list is going hiking. Now. Be careful of the sun when you're out and about and I think we got some solid advice to go early in the morning to avoid the strong heat of the day. But one of the best hikes on island is up to Boggy Peak or as it used to be called Mount Obama. It's the highest point on the island. There's 400 a, meters above sea level. And, and there's a few well-trodden trails that are really clearly marked out for you to follow on the way up. It took us about an hour and we had to stop a few times. Now, the only downside to climbing Boggy Peak is that the views at the top are somewhat underwhelming. There's a radio tower up there that's fenced off, which means you can't actually get right up to the, the peak. Top tip when you get to the top to try and see some good views. When you are looking at the fence, the entrance to the radio station, head round to the right and there's a little path that you can follow and that's got the best views. So. The number one thing that we recommend to do in Antigua is the Nelson's Dockyard National Park. The dockyard itself is down in English Harbour and is absolutely fantastic. There are some shops as you go in, there's a couple of restaurants and pubs, there's a museum, it's a working dockyard so you've got not only the yachts and the crew coming in from the harbour but you've also got sail makers, a bakery and it just is buzzing with the atmosphere of a place that's still live and in use. So that's kind of one section of the National Park um, and on the other side of English Harbour you have got Shirley Heights, the Blockhouse and then the Interpretation Centre. The Blockhouse is, has got beautiful views over the other side of the island so it's definitely worth going up there. We took our lunch and a little bit of a picnic and the Interpretation Centre has got some stunning ru uh, ruins and absolutely gorgeous views over Galleon Bay. And then Shirley Heights itself is the famous view over English Harbour and Falmouth Harbour. So this is, if you've seen a photo of Antigua, it's probably this one. Not only do you get absolutely stunning views over both Falmouth Harbour and English Harbour, but you also can see right out to Montserrat and Guadeloupe with the sun setting pretty much straight down the middle of them both. If you're in Antigua, even just for a week, make it to, on a Thursday or Sunday night to show lights. So there you have it. Those are our top seven things to do in Antigua that aren't just going to the beach. And guys, make sure to like and subscribe to come and escape with us.
we are history buffs unashamedly and unashamedly, unashamedly. unashamedly. you can't talk today can Yo, you do it those are our seven seven top things to do in antigua like and subscribe below 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 below, below. below.